Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK out foraging again. It's the 4th of October today and I'm in Devon, a lovely venue of ours called Moncton Wild where we run courses. And if you like mushrooms, this is a good place to come because we've got interesting things all over the place here for tomorrow's course. None more so than in this which is growing at the base of a, a conifer tree here. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what type of conifer it is. It will grow at the base of pines and spruces. Uh, this is a mushroom called Sprassis crisper. That's its uh, scientific name, but it's, its common name is really simple. It's called cauliflower fungus, and that's for obvious reasons. Uh, it's the only mushroom that I know of that grows at the base of of spruces and conifers and pines that looks like this. Uh, so it's a nice, safe, easy one for us foragers to identify. I find it one of the tastiest mushrooms that we go foraging for too. So it's easy to ID and really, really lovely to eat. But there is one little problem with this mushroom. This one is quite large. I'll just get my hand there just to give you a a bit of scale this one's probably about 30 centimeters in diameter but it grows much bigger than that and this one I can tell is still quite young because all of these fronds and cauliflower type bits of the mushroom here are still really tight they'll become much much looser and much more frondose and elongated as the mushroom matures so it could get up to about 50 or 60 centimeters in diameter right here quite easily making it a large large mushroom and that's great for us foragers because it means that we can just cut bits off of it and let it grow and keep coming back or even just leave some behind because it's not the most common mushroom in the world I do find one or two each year but I don't find them all over the place so we always like to leave some of this mushroom behind it doesn't have any look-alikes that I think are, are very close. There is a mushroom called the, the Podocypher multizanata, which has got sort of pink tinges around the edges of the fronds, but that doesn't grow in the same environment. You'll find it a little bit further away from trees in grassland. Now, I don't want you picking that mushroom because it is rare, but it doesn't really look like this. There isn't really anything that looks like our cauliflower fungus, apart from possibly a cauliflower. So <laughs> of a, from a safety point of view, it's one of the best. Um, the only issue you have, like I said, is that it becomes such a detailed construction that insects and bits of mud and dirt can hide in it very, very easily. Uh, and that means that whenever you pick your cauliflower fungus, you've got a little bit of cleaning to do before you start preparing it. That's not a problem though, because what you end up with is one of the tastiest mushrooms around with a really, really lovely texture. Great for soups and particularly pastas and things like that where you're making a creamy mushroom sauce. Great one to go out and find. So, you guys should uh, go out and find one for yourself. If you want to find out more about this or any of our other lovely mushrooms that grow in the UK, then please go to our website, www.wildfooduk.com.